everyone, so I have some packaging to do today, and it's a requested video, so I thought I would just go ahead and put a few requests into one. I start by putting some of my boxes together. These are just standard white window boxes, available at several different suppliers. There's nothing special about mine. I don't pre, or um, I don't custom order them or anything. Just a matter of putting them together. Alright, well, let's just start with these. So, this soap is the Hey Dahlia and I'm actually a little bit behind on packaging I've already had this release okay so we knew that was gonna happen didn't we but all right so most of these are already sold it was kind of a smaller um, it was a smaller batch than normal a lot of the remakes I tend to do in smaller batches, I'd rather just make them um, more often. That being said though, I do have a lot of remakes on my shelf because I made like Luscious Lemon and Eucalyptus Spearmint such in such large um, batches. And so they have been sitting around for the longest time. I feel like I need to move the camera, so hold on. Maybe this is just a little bit better. I hope so. Hope everybody stays in focus. This is actually my very first video that I'm filming of 2019. Everything else was uh, done quite a bit earlier in December. I'm right-handed, so it would do me better if they were over there. Often my husband and my son do the soap packaging. I'm very rarely involved in the soap packaging, but since this was just a smaller release, I haven't I haven't asked anybody to come up. They've not been up here since gosh, early on in December when we were really moving and shaking for the holiday release. So there I have the Hey Dahlia. Most of this um has been sent out already to the customized special. Um, she's requested it, so I went ahead and um, made a batch and made a little extra, but most of it has been shipped out already. I just do the paper towel I like a paper towel underneath. I don't know why. I just, that's how I operate. So this is kind of driving me nuts. I like to have things a certain way and I'm not used to working over here so I've got a whole different pattern going on. I get a lot of requests for soap packing, packing orders, um, wax melts, and the fact of the matter is I don't really operate on this table over here except for soap but this is where my um, lights are set up and everything is just set up for filming so I tend to be able to do soap making a lot easier and that's why sometimes I have good intentions to make other types of videos but it's a little bit more difficult because I have to I have all these areas that I work and then I have to shift them all over here because I can't really film in these other areas very well so this is green clover and aloe soap and if you watched the soap cutting video from a while back you'll recognize it from the thumbnail these soaps um this one i made just kind of spontaneously and i did it in a different mold so it's quite a bit wider and fits snug but it's a delightful fit still so i am happy with it here we go, let's move these soaps so I can operate a little bit better. 
This one's going to be a little bit snug. I have a particular customer who is also a soap maker but loves this soap. And so every time I make this soap, I think about her. And there's several, there are several soaps I make that uh, my customers have made quite the impact on me. So I always think about them when I'm making it and working with it. So hopefully it's in focus. I can't really tell on this little screen. My husband just had laser eye surgery and I'm starting to think that I need it too. I don't really want to do it though. I'm very sensitive about my eyes and I probably should wear glasses but I more so um, for driving at night and reading and I seem to do okay when I'm reading. I don't feel like I need them and I don't really drive at night but I am thinking that, boy, wouldn't it be nice to have corrected uh, corrected uh, vision. All right, so this is the All Is Calm. This is version 2.0 is what I'm calling it. This is not my original All Is Calm scent. I had um, purchased one part of the blend from a different supplier, and it is the same type of scent, but it came in and it was quite a bit different. And so it mixed up my blend a little bit. These are a little bit smaller also. Anyway, and then I, so I sold it the last time with the understanding in the listing that it was a little bit different. And then I had a customer request a special scent and I had everything I needed to remake it. But I thought to myself, I thought it feels I don't know it seemed a little bit different still than the last time and I didn't know why but I thought I'm gonna send some to her that way she could check to see if it's really to her liking and it turns out that it was a little bit of a stronger scent I keep good notes but every now and again fragrances just operate a little bit different so I have this batch for sale and then I'm gonna go back to my original one. Okay, so I brought over way more boxes than I need. I buy these like 1,000 or 1,500 at a time. So I have nice collections. I tried to do like a little, like I tried to pour it in and then just bring it up in, but it didn't really accomplish a whole lot. It was still a fun design. So like I said, these are all listed on the website right now. A lot of them are already um, almost sold out because they are such small batches. I'd love to sell them out so that I can just move on. But they are in my remake category, so I'll probably remake them. Okay, so now I have these, well, let's go backwards, Kalinda La Carrot Soaps. And these ones are a little bit different because my natural soaps, I wrap them in paper. So I am going to go gather my papers and I'll come back to do some of these. I probably won't do all of them because I don't like to uh, re or wrap them all at once because they do kind of still shrink and the paper gets a little wrinkly. So I'm probably only going to do about one row. Okay, so for this portion, my hands are quite clean, but I can't use the um, gloves because the tape will stick to them and weird things will happen. So I just use these little, um, they're like donut pickup sheets, if you are the donut eating variety. And I just trim them up a little bit. So they're just like a very thin, waxy, kind of parchment. I guess it's more, it's kind of waxy on one side and a little bit more papery on the other. And I just sit here and fold back and forth. And then I flip that one over. And there's one done already. Let's see, where could I put you guys? So as you can tell, this is kind of one of those chattier videos. 
And that's the way a lot of us like them. So back to my husband's eye story. He's been wanting eye surgery for as long as I can remember. He's been wearing glasses since he was 14 years old. And it's one of those things, you know many of you out there wear glasses. When it rains, it's such a pain. And if you smear them, it's such a pain. And he was just, just over it, you know? The uh, glass frames, he wears a very um, short haircut. Very military style for when he was in the Navy. And so it's just the sides were the, um, I don't know, I guess the earpiece. They've always really bothered him as well. So really it was just one of those things that it was just his desire to have it done. So our old neighbor when we lived in Kansas City in the Belton area, uh, she works for the Discovery Vision Centers in Kansas City. And so basically everybody we know, friends and and neighbors that are also friends with this um, lady, they've all had the surgery done at this specific spot. So we weren't really concerned, you know, about the process, wasn't really nervous about it or anything. But the doctor that did the surgery has actually developed a less invasive version. It's called Smile or something like that. So that's what he had done. So because we have the dogs and we do not put dogs in kennels because they usually come out sick and we were going to be gone for so long, Kansas City is about two and a half, three hour drive for us. So, and we can't really stay in a hotel because our dogs are massive. Um, Riggs is a 110 pound Doberman. Shelby's not very big. She's about 50 pounds, but she's a long legged thing. But either way, you know, most hotels will not even take those kind of dogs. And really, my standards, there he goes barking right now. My standards are a little bit higher than the hotels that will accept dogs. <laughs> so we knew the hotel was out. We debated hauling the camper up. Could have stayed in a place in called Peculiar, Missouri. But it's winter, and so that's not the most convenient. And then even still, we'd have to get home at some point. And my husband is definitely the driver, you know. I have driven the truck pulling the fifth wheel on the flat stretches of Kansas, but that's about all I want to do with that thing. So we knew that was kind of out. So we pulled the back seat out of the Suburban and loaded up big boys crate because it and it's a massive crate it took about the whole we took out the third row seat and it still took up almost the whole back end but what a delightful dog he was oh my goodness he was such a good boy he traveled so well of course we got out for breaks and to eat and drink and so anyway the whole thing went pretty well Shelby is normally a super good traveler, but my word, she whined the whole way. So that was frustrating. But anyway, he got the surgery done. Only took 11 minutes. Most of the time was waiting for the Valium to kick in. And it kicked in about two hours after we were done. Maybe an hour. And he, he was like not having any troubles with the Valium because they need it to help relax you. He went to get out it get our favorite jalapenos um, tacos while we were in the city. That's in Stanley, Kansas. If you are in the Kansas City area, you probably know all about that. And he went to get out about face planted on the ground. Those legs were wobbly. So anyway, that was quite the day. What a day that was. We just, it was an exhausting day. So we spent the whole weekend just relaxing. And today's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so it's a postal holiday, and so that's why, even though I'm a little bit behind, I'm not concerned, because I have today to get everybody packaged up, and then I can pack orders tomorrow, and they can ship tomorrow. So it's all good. So I don't think I have really any more stories for you. That pretty much covers it. Oh, 
and why I think everybody ends up having Valium for the most part. But um, when my husband went up, oh, he went up a couple weeks ago to see if he'd be a good candidate for LASIK. And the lady said that she was going to need to, um, I don't push, put this thing on his eye to measure. And he's like, well, I'm warning you right now. My eye doctor says I have a very strong reflex, and that's why I can't wear contacts. <laughs> and she's like, she's kind of a little snippy, I guess. Said, this is not my first rodeo. And he was like, okay. I just thought I'd let you know on the off chance that it was an issue. And then she ended up having all sorts of troubles, and so she had to, she had to take it back. My husband was chatting with her, with our old neighbor then after this appointment and the technician went by and our neighbor said, so how'd this one treat you? Heard he gave you a little bit of trouble. She's like, yes, I had to eat crow. Anyway, we do love Kansas City, but pretty much only for food and things that are available up there. We don't really like the city much itself anymore. We just have friends and and there's so many opportunities and things that you can do in Kansas City, but we sure do like our life out in the country. We were so happy to get home, peace and quiet. One of the things I noticed, because I was driving a lot in the city, which Kansas City's not like massive, you know, like other cities. Um, and we were just mostly in the uh, Overland Park area. But still, I had to stop. I think every single light is like, you can't get anything done up there. Because you're just stopping at lights every 30 seconds. I'm waiting there. Anyway, that's my story. I don't know anything else. I'll probably just speed this up for the rest and then I'll come back to label. So now I have a whole bunch of labels I need to cut for these soaps. I also have some here for some wax melt clamshells that I have. I hand cut all of my labels. I just found it, this is the easiest way to get everything to line up just right. My printer always just pulls things wrong. It's like been universal with multiple printers. Pulls paper wrong, never fits in the um, template right so that it prints right. So I just take the extra time right now to do all this myself. Every now and again, you need to take this stuff. A little bit of alcohol, some of that sticky from the labels gets stuck here. And then everybody starts just grabbing and it doesn't go very well. So definitely clean and it also helps to uh, cut some foil to help sharpen the blade. So I just keep a little bit of foil here and then just Make some little cuts. So while I have my paper cutter out, I have some more sheets for my wax melt clamshell label.
Okay, so now I can actually label the soaps. And there we have Calendula Carrot, looking delightful. So now I'm going to do the green clover and aloe soap. And it's just a pretty simple process. It's just time consuming is all, all of this labeling work. I always forget how long it actually takes. I was thinking, I'll just do a little video of the packaging, and then I'll do a pack some orders, and then I'm still gonna have time to cut soap and make soap, but I'm sitting there thinking, I've been up here for hours already. Just puts it around on this. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make soap today with all the other projects I've got going on here. So I will continue to label. I'm going to do All Is Calm and Hey Dahlia. And then I will, well I got a baggage wax belt still so we'll see how it goes. So here I also have a whole tray of wax melt clamshells to label. Bottom of these trays are always a little bit waxy from working with the wax melt. I just love keeping a little bit of alcohol around. Clean things up. So I have a few labeled already. So here we have a fresh strawberry wax melt. So 
with this release, I brought back some clamshells. So I have fresh strawberry. The orange is poppies and peaches. The yellow is luscious lemon. We have green clover and aloe and fresh linen. And then of course had to have figgy cream. And then I had a request to bring back festive forest. So I have a festive forest clamshells. And I mixed gingerbread and eggnog. They're my just my favorites and I love the scent of them melting together. So I've actually blended them into one called ginger nog. And then it also a request was for some bayberry. So that's what I did. Sometimes I get a little bit of an overpour, but I just figure that's more wax for the customer. So I just sit and label. Stand and label, I should say. We do a lot of labeling, and this was such a small release compared to what I normally have to work with. So it's kind of a, it's like, whoa. No wonder it always takes us so long to get all this work done. The actual making of the product doesn't take very long at all. It's all these, this extra, like, I was gonna come upstairs, I was like, oh, I still had to design some labels. And that took me another couple hours before I, I had come upstairs and was ready to start working on these videos and I just turned around and went back downstairs. Came back up two hours later. My, um, the computer I use for design is downstairs. I just have a memory stick that I take back and forth. To print because the printer is up here. I know it's a weird thing, but I do so much editing. I found I would never, between the videos, the labels, the um, advertising, you know, pictures, website design, listings, all of that jazz, I found that I was not downstairs with my family. And I'd just rather be down there designing while they're you know, about their business than just to be secluded up here all the time. So my actual design computer is downstairs. orders I realized my sample basket was quite low so this is something that's been requested on many occasions so I will just package up some samples there's nothing much to it I just drop them into the baggie
I always try to lay them out right, but they swish them back and forth in the package. <laughs> I'll make it. I'll make it difficult on us. Yeah, well, whatever. I like to have them so that I just grab them just right. So these are just glassine wax bags. Nothing spectacular. I just put them in there and slap a label on them. Usually I have trays full. I am a little slim on samples for this go around. I had intended that unicorn-y type soap to be for samples and then it just turned out to be a bust all together. But I often make soap and wax just for samples. And I'm not sure what the size of these are. It's just one of those things that just go figure out what size works for you if you want similar things. And as always, I have lots of information in the description box on where I buy things. So I just fold it over and attach. up these little wax melts of this cute new mold and this one says I love you um, some of them are not easy to see at all like it didn't release from the mold very well but they still smell good so I'm just going to tuck a few into this little baggy. Look how cute that is. Love it. So I guess I'll just kind of do the three and this is a chocolate raspberry scent so that's fitting for the upcoming season. I do have quite a bit coming on for the February release. I'm really excited about it. I needed this little release to help my buy supplies. Kind of running a little slim around here. Seems like I'm due for a lot right now. I need new business cards, I need new shred, label sheets I had to just get. What else do I need? I need more lye, I need more soaping oils. Did I say business cards already? Don't know if I said that already. I just need quite a bit of things right now. It seems like it always comes at once and it ends up being a several thousand dollar excursion just to get caught up around here and of course we buy in bulk so it's not inexpensive to do all of that. I often get requests for a certain scent and it can take a while for me to be able to get to it because most of these suppliers ship UPS so you can't really just buy four ounces of fragrance oil or even just one pound of fragrance oil it's always best to get a good good order going so I try to hold off on making these big orders or you know hold off on making little orders until I can make a big order just to make the most of the shipping you know a lot of times it costs us a hundred dollars just to ship I guess I'll do these two It'll cost $100 alone just in pack or in shipping just to get some packaging supplies. So it's just always best to use your head and make orders when it's most convenient. It's 
easy just to jump out there big and make orders all the time, but you just can't do that. This does not make good sense. So I do have most of my fragrance or orders done. I'm pretty stocked on fragrance for right now. I have had a couple of requests, so I'm going to have to see if I can get any of those fragrances in any time soon. So it looks just super cute with its little chocolate raspberry label. So in love with how this turned out. I just think that it's so darling. It's just so cute. So once I get these labeled, I think I'm finally ready to pack a couple orders. I need to go gather my shred and my tape and business cards and tissue paper and all that jazz and I will be back to pack some orders.